Libraries of Leaders is a Bloomberg Quint weekly list of what leaders are reading. Hello and welcome to Libraries of Leaders with me, Varun. On this week's edition, we take a peek into the libraries of three outstanding musicians. Here's what Bob Dylan, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2016, Paul McCartney of The Beatles, and iconic singer and songwriter Bruce Springsteen read and recommend. Bob Dylan won the Nobel Prize in 2016 for his contribution to the great American song tradition. He has also been awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest civilian honor in the United States. Dylan first shot to prominence with songs that focused on the social unrest which gripped America in the 1960s. He has gone on to sell over a hundred million records since. On the Road by Jack Kerouac is one of his favorite books according to the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. The book tells the story of the author's journey through North America along with a friend in search of self-knowledge. Dylan said that the book had a profound impact on his life. Sir Paul McCartney is one of the greatest songwriters and composers of all time. He was also a member of the Beatles, which is one of the most iconic popular bands in history. He said that he was a big Charles Dickens fan and told The Telegraph that Nicholas Nickleby was one of his favourite books. The book, like most of Dickens' work, has an underlying theme of revolt and outrage against ill-treatment. It tells the story of a penniless young boy trying to make his way in the world after his father's death. But it still somehow manages to remain humorous through a range of quirky, delightful and eccentric characters. McCartney also recommended The Miller's Tale, which was translated from Middle English by Jouser. It tells the story of an illicit relationship between a devious young scholar, the pretty young wife of a drab old carpenter, and the outlandish scheme he comes up with to keep the relationship going without her husband finding out. Bruce Springsteen's music has its grounding in folk rock and his lyrical style invited early comparisons to Bob Dylan. He first shot to prominence with the E Street Band in the 1970s and is probably best known for his album Born in the USA which sold over 30 million copies worldwide. He told the New York Times that Love in the Time of Cholera by Gabriel Garcia Marquez was his favourite literary work. The book tells the story of a young couple. The woman chooses to marry a rich doctor, leaving the protagonist heartbroken. But 50 years on, and after the doctor's death, he goes back to profess his love for her. That's a wrap on this week's edition. Do tune in next week to find out what other leaders are reading. Thank you for watching Bloomberg Quint.